Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. I'm gonna keep this video pretty short. I was just thinking about something a few days ago and I wanted to share it with you because I thought it might be a good um, learning opportunity for anyone who isn't already familiar, super familiar with um, the stages of growth uh, inside the hair follicle, where which I call the womb of the hair strand. So that's the hair that you can't see yet, the hair that is not yet um, beyond the skin of the scalp. So I cut off all my hair in October. Um, I don't want to say all of it. I cut up my hair very short, like half an inch short. Um, short enough that I was like, okay, all the diva damage will be gone because I stopped using the products completely a few, just a few months before that. Um, and so I should have had at least half an inch of new growth by then. So I cut it and it's been growing since then. And as you can see, it's grown quite a lot longer than that now but something that i noticed recently was that there's still some hair that feels really tangly it doesn't feel as soft as it did after my first big chop and i was like it almost feels like there's still some of the diva curl affected strands in my hair and then i was like wait a second i mean just because i stopped using the products and i let new hair grow in not every single follicle would be growing new hair during the period between when I stopped using the Diva stuff and when I cut my hair. So that means some of those strands were actually in the resting phase of hair growth, meaning they didn't fall out, but they also weren't growing at all. They were just staying exactly as they are. So those strands, those follicles that didn't produce new hair, those strands would have still have been affected by the diva curl products and until i cut them off they're going to stay in my hair so it's not all going to happen at the same time that new growth phase happening um, or the shedding phase happening so that means i might need to have a few more haircuts before every single strand that was affected by the diva products is gone so my hair definitely is way healthier overall now but when i go through i still hit some of those areas and they feel kind of coarse and it it's in the areas that were where i had a lot of hair loss as well um so it wouldn't surprise me if the follicles that weren't forced to release the hair and cause it to come out completely might have been put into more of a stuck phase um where they weren't growing new hair uh anymore for a longer amount of time than the other healthier follicles on my head. So hopefully they do grow new hair the same way that the rest of my hair does so that I can cut them. What's unfortunate is I don't really want to do another haircut, but those damaged hairs are going to be spread out throughout my healthy hair. It's going to be very difficult to isolate them and only trim those pieces. So I'm not going to cut it all off again right now or at all. I'm going to just let it keep growing, um, deal with the hairs, the random strands in there that are still rough to the touch and tangle um, because it isn't hard to manage as a whole right now. But the reality is at some point I'm going to want to cut those hairs off because they're not completely fixable. They're extremely damaged and extremely damaged hair. It can't be fixed. It can just be maintained until it grows out. Dang, Maya, you got some good girls are just stretching it out back there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was just a little update on that. So for anyone who is in my boat and maybe did a chop and is like, I don't get it, I thought I cut it all off. Why is there still some weird pieces in there? Um, it's possible that you had, uh, had just have areas that weren't growing new hair during the time that you were letting new healthy hair grow in. And that's just how our bodies work. There's really no way around it. Those are the natural phases of the hair growth and the follicle. So I hope that, that this information helps somebody, the way that realizing it and, you know, there's a lot of things that you can know that you're just not consciously thinking about all the time, but it's good to have that kind of knowledge and information so that you, when things aren't, happening the way that you expect them to you can dig back into your own understanding and be like oh maybe that's what's going on instead of just becoming super frustrated and thinking oh my god the products leaked down into my body and so that it's producing new hair that's already damaged 
but your body cannot produce already damaged hair. That's just not how it works. Hair comes out of the follicle healthy and then it's imp it's impacted by the products and the different things that we do to it. So don't be afraid, oh my God, I'm gonna cut off all my hair and it's gonna all grow in unhealthy anyway. That's not how it works. So if you do have to start over, you will get a full head of healthy hair. It just might take some follicles a little bit longer than others to get there. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. You can follow me on Instagram at the Curl Ninja. Thank you all for your support. Thank you to all the media outlets who've picked up the Diva Curl story and are helping spread our message to a wider audience because uh, legal things take a long time, um, government things take a long time, but our messages can be instant and viral. And so that is our superpower. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.